champion. Big arms, big biceps, big triceps, six pack. That's not strength, fam. All right, there's no strength in ourselves. If you want to find out what I mean, stay tuned. Africa the soul. Good day to all of you talented, gifted and potential full campeones, champions out there. My name is William George Moises and welcome to King In Me. Hashtag motivational Mondays. And next to me, I got a brother who's pumped, who's excited, who's full of life. Thank you, Jesus. Kodmano, Cody, my man. Good to have you here, bro. Bring in that shoulder. Dig the haircut, dig the shirt, <laughs> dig the jeans, bro. You look incredible. Thank you, bro. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, man. We just want to just hear from you. Maybe perhaps just one mistake because essentially all of us have made mistakes. Yeah, that's true. All right. So what is one mistake that you've made that sticks out for you and how God has just led you through that and actually, you know, taught you something through that mistake? Um, before I actually became a believer, I actually believed that we as human beings were efficient within ourselves to do certain things okay. and I feel the mistake that I made is when I became a Christian or when I converted I came in with the same mentality okay. and okay. <laughs> uh, that's a problem I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had a big wake-up call because mm. I realized that I, I'm not sufficient mm. on my own mm. and I, I, I started learning how to be more dependent on God more is faithful it? and obedient to his will rather yep. than mine sure. and one of the ways that I went about that of course is, was through a lot of communion with God mm. so I maintain our relationship to prayer the reading of the scripture and the more mm. I did that the more I started seeing things from God's perspective sure. and then I started realizing how much more I need a mm. savior you know mm. and how I can only get myself from this point to that point but God can get me all the way through yep. so I feel that's a mistake that a lot of us make we still coming with the same thinking pattern that we had before we converted mm. and we think it's going to work within in God's boundaries and sure. it doesn't man we have to be reliant on God so I think God just taught me to relinquish everything mm. it's not it's not easy all that's the time that's a nice word yeah bro. to relinquish just to oh, let go come on one more time say that one more time relinquish ah, you know okay <laughs> just cool. to let go just let yeah. it you know and, and let God control mm. the situation it doesn't mean that you don't have to do anything mm. but but God will, 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 will grant you the grace that's it you know to get through each and every day you know mm. and that's what we need to rely on you know? we can't it. rely on ourselves we are faulty uh, human beings you know we are not we're not infallible we make a lot of mistakes mm. so mm. when God is there you know he, he helps us and once we just you know follow his steps mm. and allow him to govern our lives that's when that mentality starts changing you understand so that renewal comes about sure. and that's 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 the lesson that I learned because I thought that I could do it on my own mm. you know I thought I could make it on my own you just set your mind to it but yeah. that's not how it works man. yeah, yeah. that's some of the teaching that comes <laughs> out these days you know like this whole yeah. positive thinking you that's know true. you know say it and believe yeah, and, it and, and it, all and that it's stuff there. voila exactly and it's, not it's, it's, it it's not like that fam you cannot have a mindset shift unless you get a new heart. Yeah, that's true. And the only one that can give you a new heart and a new life is Jesus. So we want to encourage you today, like Cody spoke on, man, trying to do things in your own strength, you're not sufficient in yourself. Mm. God's grace is sufficient. That is and true. we only begin to truly live when we lay down our life for His. So look to Him and just know today, Nam Sanjay, that your life matters both to God and to us.